Yo, what's going on YouTube? Mr. All Star HD here again, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing another Call of Duty news video. So, there's been a lot of big news that has come out recently. The two head developers for Sledgehammer Games have stepped down. One of them has gone to the, I guess... He's basically the second in command at Activision. I don't know how true that is, but that's just from a little bit of uh, rumors that I've heard. However, though, this is the real deal that we're going to be talking about right now. So, a lot has changed in World War II recently. Uh, this next update, in fact, has changed a lot. So, there's, there's, you know, it's not new to people that the game has been broken since release. It's very understandable that the game is broken. You can comprehend that the game is broken. Well, hopefully some of these fixes will make the game to where it's less broken and maybe easier to play. So, there have been a lot of ADS transition times and ADS from sprint times and ADS sprint out times that have changed. So, if you don't know what ADS is, it's when you aim down your sights of your gun and it's and in easier terms, it's when you scope in on your gun. Uh, and what the sprint out times are is when you go to sprint out of the spawn. <laughs> it's pretty pretty simple. And the oh, and it's also not just when you sprint out of spawn, but it's when you're coming out of the sprint and you go to aim down your sights. It's much faster or much slower, or it has not changed. Well, these are the guns that have been affected. SMGs, obviously, as a whole, have been affected. They're buff based ADS times, and they have buff based sprint out times. Which, I don't know if I agree with, honestly. The sprint out times, definitely. I definitely agree with it because this game has had the slowest sprint out times and they finally changed it. But for the buffed ADS, for it just aiming down sights when you're standing still, I don't know if I agree with that. SMGs are already dominant within the game and they're just giving them more reason to be dominant. Because when we look at the rifles, the rifles have just a buff ADS transition, but they do not have it from sprint out time, which is a it's a big difference because Now a rifle still cannot compete with somebody that they run up on it's still Impossible for them to compete the only way that they can is if the person that's using the SMG misses their shots and with a rifle it's almost impossible to compete with somebody even at mid-range if an SMG pulls up first they usually are gonna be the ones to win and I think that these are not the best fixes, uh, but there are more fixes. I'm not just dogging on this, uh, but there are more fixes that I do agree with, such as for the quick scoping community and the sniper community. They're not going to really like this, but the KR-98K and the M1903 have both been nerfed with their, a uh, their ADS. Their damage is still the same, still exactly the same, but their nerfing for the ADS is much different now. It's about a three-second difference. And, you know, or no, it's a two second difference, sorry. Um, but that's kind of a big deal to a sniper. To us personally, as normal, normal gun runners and everybody that just plays the game without, you know, loading out with a sniper, it doesn't really affect us. I mean, when you pick it up, you might notice it, but it's probably not going to affect a lot of your game style. But for the people that quick scope and the sniper com uh, community that use snipers every single day in every lobby, they're going to definitely notice it. Uh, LMGs have actually got a buffed ADS time as well, which is really good because the Bren alone is just so awful. Even with quick draw, it's so slow. You you are going to get beat. It does not matter. You have to be aiming down your sights before they see you because if not, you're pretty much dead unless they are just have no thumbs and have no idea what they're doing. If they have any basic motor skills at all, they are going to beat you. So for the weapons now, these are weapons in uh, that are specifically either buffed or nerfed, whether it be recoil damage or anything of the sort. So the MP40 got a buffed recoil, and this was so it could compete with the PPSH41. So if you didn't know, the recoil on the MP40 when you would shoot down it, it would go to the right, the top right. And now instead of going to like the top right and being unpredictable every time. Because it would sometimes go up and down, it would go just straight up, or it'd go to the right, or to like a 45 degree angle. And now, instead of it doing that, it just goes straight up constantly now. So that way you have a much 
easier way to fight against other people and you can predict the recoil. The FG42, I do not agree with this at all. Uh, the They nerfed the fire rate of it and it's already a slow gun and they just made it even more slower and I just, they said it's going to keep it in line with the other weapons but I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that because it's already slow and it's already hard to compete with with the other guns. Uh, the next gun that I do I do agree with is the SVT-40. They buffed the recoil and they made it to uh, shoot down and give its to manage it with the M1 Garand and compare it with the M1 Garand. And they nerfed the hip fire. Uh, it's it's pretty bad now. Uh, you, you'll be probably getting probably two out of five shots on somebody with a hip fire. So you probably will not kill them with a hip fire. They just made that because the gun is their purpose for the gun is for mid to long range and it is not meant for short range and they don't want they don't want that to happen uh, because a lot of people complain about bayonets too so if they're making it to where players can't even get close to other players with the gun that's going to make the bayonet issue just just with the you know the SVT a lot different and then the M1A1 they buff the fire rate and it's still slightly different than the gear 43 but it is, it's extremely different. I'm not going to lie to you. And I, I believe they may have added more of a, uh, no, that's the next gun that they did that with. The M1A1, though, does have a buffed fire rate, which is very good because that gun, that gun was, I believe, one of the, like, weakest guns in the game. And now it is much, much better when you can fire, especially if you have a good trigger finger. So the next gun is the Gear 43. So it has a buffed fire rate. And not only does it have a buff fire rate, but it has buffed recoil, and they buffed the clip size to 12 rounds instead of 10. So this gun is getting a lot added to it, and it's making it so that way it's a lot better to use, because I don't think a lot of people used it, and the ones that did were complaining about it. I mean, it is, pretty sure it's the DLC weapon. Uh, so the next gun that I, I completely disagree with, completely disagree with, and there's no reason that they needed to add more of this, but the the M30 Loftwaff drilling. So if you don't know what that is, it's a shotgun, okay? And I'm sorry I butchered that name. I could not say it. But they buffed the damage for it per pellet to be on, like, to be in sync with the sawed-off, and there's more automatic two kill shots now and they've made it a lot easier to get one shot kills with it as well because I'll be honest with you I don't think I've seen anybody with a diamond shotgun camo yet uh, they buffed the the shotgun damage range so now it shoots even farther and they actually buffed the ADS spread for better accuracy when shooting people and I think that's that's terrible this, it lit this is this is what it says word for word Buff ADS spread to follow for greater accuracy when shooting enemies that are outside of obvious shotgun range. Well, if they're out of range already and it's out of obvious shotgun range, why are you going to give them the ability to shoot outside of it and get a kill? That's ridiculous. That's stupid. I don't like that. And then finally, we have the toggled shotgun, which is the final change. And it has a buff clip size up to eight shots instead of six. And the only thing they nerfed was the spread. And I don't care. They did not need to give it an extra extra two bullets in the clip. I've died enough to people spamming the toggle action shotgun. Besides them adding two extra bullets to it, that'll make it even easier for people to spam the shit out of me and kill me. I don't know. I don't agree with all the changes. I do agree with a few of them, but I don't agree with all of them. The game is gonna drastically change with a lot of these, though. A lot of people are gonna use a lot of the a lot of different guns, though. But I still don't see anything with the PPSH or the BAR or the STG44 or anything like that. It's still overpowered. They haven't done much with it. They haven't really done anything to change that fact. So you're still gonna have to compete with people with the PPSHs and the BARs and the STG44s and everything like that it's just it's terrible and i wish they would change it but i think this these updates are going to be as close as we get to the game being fixed so that's going to do it for this video guys uh hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys like the new changes that are coming to this update but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out my deeds